Welcome back to Far Cry 6. In the last video, we took down an FND base for Benito and his fishermen to get them gas. In exchange, he's going to provide the Gurias with boats to get off the island. Clara is planning to destroy the two warships that are stopping them from leaving the island. Anton is not going to be happy about this one, but you have to spark a revolution somehow, right? And I guess without making y'all wait any longer, let's load this thing up. Danny, do you copy? You get that chopper up and running? See, si, but there's an anti-aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Okay, Juan, I'll take it out. Come Sirio, on. Because if it gets me, I'll Be make sure my now. fiery Be corpse see. comes down on you like a meteor. Yeah, let's head out. All right, so we are heading to blow up this anti-aircraft cannon so that Juan can give us some air support while we're destroying the boats. We already learned about these Whoa. cannons from the Garia at the blockade. So I wonder how this would have gone if I already went ahead and blew it up. Maybe I would have gotten some brownie points or something for being one step ahead, you know? I wanted to tell you something. Hell of a speech you gave. <laughs> Listen to me. Whatever happens now, I wanted to thank you. For everything you've done for Libertad. And for me. Thank me once we blasted through Castillo's blockade. See you on the other side, Danny. <laughs> I guess that's oh. one way to stop. Let's Darcy. go into this tower to scout. You're okay. Mm -hmm. Just curious if I can break this. Nope. Every time we've gone into one of these scout towers, they've had one of these on the back of it, and I've never tried to break it before, so I wanted to see if you could. Maybe there's loot behind it, I don't know. Okay, let's see what we got here. Wubble. Oh, I still have the picture up on my phone. I wanted to scout. Okay, here we go. One, two, Three, Officer, have to be careful. Four, five. All right, there's the warships. They're huge. I don't see any alarms. Guess they don't have one here. Well, let me check again just to make sure. All right, I'm gonna try my sniper again. I have better bullets this time. I have the armor piercing rounds, so hopefully these are a lot better. Okay, let's take the first guy out. Okay, it takes two shots. Good to know. Go now. Dang it, I was so close. He called for backup. Well, at least my sniper is a lot better now. It takes two shots. I really just want one. So, maybe the soft target rounds will be better. Backup is here. Shit. Almost out of ammo, too. Two more shots. Dang it, gotta switch over now.
too far now. There's only one guy left, so I might as well just go over there now, right? Need to help Guapo out anyway. I got you, buddy. Okay, where'd he go? All right, I think that's everyone. Let's loot this place now. Check everything out. Another side mission it looks like. Yes, more ammo. That's exactly what I needed. Depleted uranium. Juan's gonna be very happy about this one. More F and D caches. All right, how do I blow this thing up? Maybe just one Molotov war? Okay, awesome. Hey, Juan, anti-aircraft cannons out. The sky is yours. Now go get those ships, and Juan will be your avenging angel of death. Whatever. As long as you got my back. <laughs> I've got your back, a fresh cigar, and 12,000 rounds of divine wrath. Vamos echando! Ooh, look, a supply signal. <laughs> How come these things are never guarded? Vamos. Be nice. Cremo bond. Okay, there's this tower over here that's all lit up. Let's go there first and see if there's any loot. Then we'll head to the lighthouse. Oh, there's a guard here. Or maybe a double agent. He is definitely not friendly. Oops, didn't mean to bring my camera up. Ooh, what's this? Thank Honor idol. This A collectible, I guess? Metal. All right, let's go up and get this cash. Wait, where's the ladder? Oh, I gotta jump up. Just ammo? Oh, and a bracelet. All right, that just took a while. Let's see what it does. Munitions bracelet, sidearm scavenger. Acquire additional sidearm ammo. All right. 
I don't really use my pistol that often, so I think I'll be fine without it. To the lighthouse. Now, where did I put my horse? Oh, she's over here. That's a good horse. Okay, a workbench down there. You see now. Oh, and there's another one over there. All right. Clara, I'm close to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the lighthouse. Sitting pretty with an RPG in perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower, round in the chamber, scope dialed in. One. Remember, we take those ships and we punch a fucking hole straight to our island. We get one shot at this Libertad. See you on the other side. Looks like I gotta grapple up. <laughs> up we go. <gasps> Some more ammo. Oh, and there's Julio. I'll just go to the other side. He is ready with that rocket launcher. Danny, you want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. Look before you leap. If Lita was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lita was here, I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio. All right, there's a lot going on here. I think this is about to be crazy. I feel like I've gotten everything. Wonder if I can go ahead and shoot out those alarms. That'd make life a lot easier. Nope, I guess I'm too far away. Or they don't want me to do anything until I get there. All right, let's blow up some ships. Oh, there's a ladder over there. I can swim underwater for a long time. Clara, I'm on board. This is it, Danny. Clear those ships and don't be afraid of using their own weapons against them. Those turrets pack one hell of a punch. Ooh, that camera will see me. <sighs> well, I guess you can't take out the cameras that easily. Well, that guy sounded seasick. Hopefully he doesn't have to be. Have y'all seen that? It was a Kevin Hart special on Netflix, and he called COVID the vid. You got the vid. It's so funny, you should check it out. If you haven't. 
You know, when I was assassinating that girl, when I took out the alarm, the camera also lost power too, so I guess the alarms are more important. Seriously, where are you running to? Well, I'm caught now. Let's shut that alarm. Yes, Juan is killing it. Load him up, Juan. Got it, Julio. down.
I mean, I know he's a heavy, but he is taking a lot of shots. Two Molotovs. Alright, I think that's everyone. Are we done? I really like the blue coming from the helicopter in the lighthouse. If you want to send a message about who's destroying your ships, I think this is a good way to do it. Clara, it's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. We're not done yet. I'm going to hang back, set charges, and make sure those ships are blown to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Copy that. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. Oh, that shit. Alright, how's she picking me up? Oh, there she is in that boat. There's Clara. <laughs> Viva Libertad, Danny. give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs. Until we could scrape up some money, open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free election solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, born-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarens will be killing Yarens for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yare is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. <sighs> Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Libertad will kill you fucking through your eyes! Traitors! Criminales! Puta! Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn it can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love, not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a 
dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa, you've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio, I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the show. <laughs> Rule 20. Once a guerrilla, always a guerrilla. Man, I hate that for Julio. He didn't have anything to live for anymore. He just wanted to be with Lita again. Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave? Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best, Kiria. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work? 50 50. Nipinga. I bet this fucking boat will sink halfway to Miami. I am glad that Diego didn't kill him though, even though his dad was pressuring him. It's one of those things where his dad was giving Diego a chance to give Julio mercy. But at some point, I want to be able to help Diego out and get him out from under his father's grip. And if he's the one that killed Julio, I can just like foretell that everyone won't be happy about that. And I can see one of the characters overreacting to it and not wanting to help him anymore, thinking he's just like his dad or something. Julio is tough though. All right, I'm gonna end this part here. In the next video, we will go and see Juan and find out the next steps for this revolution we're a part of now. Bye!